Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strength that all humans have. Then, an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. And now, when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. The creature is wanted for a murder he didn't commit. David Banner is believed to be dead, and he must let the world think he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. What is it? Bruce? Oh, come on up, Bruce. These are the apartments? Yes, it is one twenty-five a month. That does not include utilities. And rent is expected the third of every month. Alright, no problem. I won't let you down. Yes, well... There is, there is a store next door, and there is a, a, you know, you got your bedroom, your TV room, anything you could possibly ask for. Sounds good. Fully furnished? Fully furnished. Alright. Take uh, half a pound of salami. And do you guys have monster cheese? No, we have brick cheese. It's about the same thing. Okay, I'll take some brick cheese. Half pound of turkey. All right, that'll be, uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, 246. All right, here you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, there's an error on this cash register. This cash door thing? Okay. It'll be, uh, 426. Oh, well, still. Fair enough. Okay. Will that be cash or check or credit? Uh, cash. Okay. Here's, uh... Wait, wait for... Here's five dollars. Do you want to see it? Oh, wait. There's five dollars. Here you go. Ugh. Okay. And your change is... No, no. Keep the change. Besides, I have a feeling someday I might have to come back here. <laughs> and require your services. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a general idea. You go and you get food. And next thing you know... you. You eat that food, and you come back, and you buy more food. Okay, well, goodbye. Yeah, um, thanks for shopping at, um, Howard's. Uh, yeah, okay. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Boy, what a great guy. That's the kind of guy you just want to hang out with, and he can be your friend. Uh, I need to get laid. Okay, who's got a drink? Oh, I do, I do. Uh, no, hey, well, I had a beer. I had a Boilermaker over here. Yeah, me too. I had O. Thompson and Coke. Oh, my God, calm down, hell, you guys. Problem here? Oh, hey, uh, new guy. Bruce. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, Bruce. Uh, no, I ain't got... 
Tonight, wait, let me come around there. Boss is short a dealer, so he wants you to do it. Oh. <laughs> well, I like playing cards, but... No, nah, you got you to do it. You got to do it, Bruce. There ain't no, no choice. Well, okay, but I'm telling you. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a card dealer. Who is that? And let me guess. Jimmy Stewart? No, it was... I I'll see you later tonight, Jimmy. Uh, okay. Hey, get us a drink over here. Hey, call your jets, man. Can't you see I'm talking to somebody over here? Yeah, well, I'm really thirsty. Yeah, what's the hold up? Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Louise, you murdered one guy and then you're stuck pulling booze in a underground casino. This is an underground casino? Hey, gentlemen, name in the game is Blackjack or Straight 21 or whatever you want to call it. Don't really matter to me. So, we got the first card drawn and here we go. Everybody's got their two cards. First goes to the gentleman black suit. Gentlemen, what do you do? Me. Hit on 14. Here you go. Right. Busted. Next, and the gentleman in an orange vest. I'll, uh, I believe I'll stay. Black shirt. I, uh, uh, I'll stay. And finally, the lady. You know, lady should have went first. I know, ma'am, and I do apologize for that. What will you do? I will... Will... I will hit. Okay, showing 8 and 18. What will you do? I'll stay. And the dealer has... Blackjack. Hey, aren't you supposed to tell us that before we start playing? Yeah, I, I think you're cheating. Yeah. Uh, you totally ripped us off. Uh, let me see the rest of your cards. I can't do that, sir. Why, you... Hey, 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 hey. A problem here. Yes, this guy cheated us off. Oh, did he? I didn't mean to, I swear. I, I had Blackjack. From now on, you are to call Blackjack when you have Blackjack. You may go now. Um, go clean up the bar and then you may go home. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, now we play new game. Hey, pal. Yeah? I'll meet you out in the parking lot. You, uh, you really don't want to do that. We'll see about that. Hey, cheats Tommy Lawrence deal and gets away with it. You hear me? I'm kind of a big deal. Told you I'd meet you outside after. Come on, guys. What is this? The sixth grade? Shut up. Look, I can't just... Shut up. Like I said. Huh? You think you get by with what you just did? You know, if this were old western times, you'd be in trouble. And just to make sure you don't try to run away, I brought some friends along. Look. You're making me angry. Ooh, I wouldn't want to do that, would we, boys? No, indeed, we would not. Yeah. <laughs> You're in trouble now, pal. That's what you think. Uh, uh. Boys, uh, uh. help me out here. If we're wearing a coat. Uh. Yeah, for making me... Wear a coat and make me feel jealous. No! 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 Let's go, boys. Yeah. You better believe it. Let's go play some Pac-Man down at the arcade.
my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! What's the matter with you? No, 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 no! Whoa! Shorts. Okay, all right, Mac. Whatever. I'm out of here, dude. Mr. Mr. Minaki. Oh, I can't get up the stuff so good. I just want to tell you, have you seen news lately? Uh, no. What's up, Mr. Mackey? Oh, it's horrible. There's this big green monster. And he lifted guys up and threw them 50 feet in the air. Oh, just horrible. Did you need something, Mr. Mackey? Oh, yes. Bruce, I must insist you join me and my wife for dinner. Ah, I might do that. I might very well do that. I just want to catch the end of this news report. Oh, see, see. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Thank you, Mr. Mackey. Thank you. I don't know how much I should thank you. Eh, just enjoy my wife's cooking, eh? I hope I do. Alright, here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alright, let's start with the lady. Stay. Good, good, good. Alright, now the gentleman also stay. Alright, alright. How about you in the vest? Uh, I think I'll uh, stay. Okay, how about you, Mr. Black Tie Man? Um, I think I'll also stay. Alright, and Diller has... 20! And if you can beat that 20, you win. Alright, let me see what I got here. Wait, oh, ladies first. Oh yeah, here, um, 15. No lady luck for you. Hey, about you, Mr. Guy? Okay. 18, 18, okay, that doesn't beat 20, how about you, sir? Okay, you tie with 20, how about you, sir, and the black tie? Uh, I do believe I have 21. All right, the gentleman in the black wins. All right, folks, get ready for another exciting game. Next round, what do we have here? Oh, Blackjack. Ah, oh, the guy in the black suit wins again. Okay, next round, folks. 15, 15, 15, hit. Well, are you sure? Yes, hit me. 22, busted. Looks like we have another blackjack from the gentleman in the black suit. Okay, he's on the road, folks. Let's see what happens. All right, all right, all right, all right. The man in the black suit wins again. Well, this dealer is getting very tired, so I'm going to go, folks, and here comes my replacement. The guy in the black suit, I, I think he's cheating. Yeah, well, we'll let, uh, we'll let the cameras decide that, shall we? Oh, I guess so, but... Hey, don't worry about it. I've got it, okay? Alright. If you're sure, sure I'm sure. Gentlemen, let's start a new game. Over here for luck. Hey, 
Huh? Speak to you for a minute off to the side. What do you want? You're, uh... Well, I didn't want to say this out loud, but... I have the reason to believe that you might be cheating. Cheating? Yeah. You're accusing me of cheating? Yeah. That is a serious charge, my friend, and an even seriouser charge here and wherever the heck it is we are. Hey, look. I saw you flip over those cards. And I saw you eyeball. Don't you touch me! All right. But I know that you're cheating. And, well... We'll just see what Mr. Mangione has to... I happen to be a long time personal friend of Mr. Mangione. In fact, I call him Chuck. So you take that to the bank, pal. Alright, hey, don't touch me! Going to the craps table. I swear that guy... Uh, hey, Bruce? Uh, yeah, um, Carl? Uh, Mr. Mangione's wanting to see you in his office. He seems awfully steamed. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. No, 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 no. Hmm. Always likes doing his curly impressions. Well, time to go see Mr. Mangione. All right, folks, let's see what everybody's got here. Why do they call it the camel clutch? It doesn't actually look like camel while he's doing it. Oh, okay, I got somebody in my office. I gotta go. Goodbye. Uh, Mr. Mangione, you wanted to see me? Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. Okay. You know, you're doing some good work. I mean, some excellent work, man. You're most, one of the most excellent workers I have. In fact, I think about giving you a raise. Uh, oh, yeah? Well, how's that? Well, how would you like to go from dealer to money changer? Uh, money changer is an important job. You know, you got to get in there. You're in there in the cage, and you're changing money to, to um, you know, poker chips and all this and that and blah, blah, blah. Hey, would you like something to drink? I should offer you something to drink as soon as you came to my office, but I forgot about it. It slipped my mind. No, thanks, sir. I actually have uh, something I want to talk to you about. Oh, yeah? Well, go ahead, young man. Say what's on your mind. I'm pretty open-minded here myself. You know, I always say, my, my office is an open door. Uh, yeah, well... One of the guys in a black suit and tie downstairs seemed to be cheating. Cheating? Well, I gotta let you in a little secret there, son. I know he's cheating. You do? Oh, yeah. Who do you think put him up to it? You see, the more he cheats, the more money he makes for this casino. The more money he makes for this casino, the more money he makes for me. Because I own the casino, you understand? So, it's kind of a scam deal that me and him have going together. And it's a pretty good deal, that. Sir, if you don't mind me saying so, that's not right, number one. Number two, you're actually losing money on the casino. Well, no, actually, everything that goes to him goes to me. You see, whatever money he makes goes in his pockets, it goes to me. And I just give him a cut of the percentages. So, if you got nothing more to say, then go ahead and get the heck out of my office. and Get over there to the cage right away. Um, I have something to say. Uh, I think what you're doing is morally wrong. You're cheating people. You're cheating your own casino. And it's illegal. And don't think that I won't report it to the Board of Gambling, because I will. You know what, son? I, I like you, and now you're starting to get on my nerve. Tell you something, son. You're not going to talk about this or any other subject, for that matter, for any other reason. Because you're not going to tell the casino board or the gambling casino board or the gambling license commission or anything like that or the police or anything like that. Because if you do, if you do, then you will be in big time trouble. And you know why you'll be in big time trouble? Because I'll see some guys over here and I'll have them kick your butt. They'll kick your butt from here to Zenbunk 2. Let me tell you that right now. So if I were you, I'd just get the hell out of my office and just stay out of my business and stay out of this office and stay out of this casino. As a matter of fact, I want you out of this casino. I'm going to send some men in here to get you out of here and get out of here right away. You're down here. You understand? You are fired. You are going right out that door. And if I ever see you in this casino again, I will personally kick your butt. All right, now let me get on this button here. Yeah. Get in here and take this guy out of here. 
I wouldn't do that if I were you, Mr. Mangione. Yeah, well, you're not me, so... There, nin in a boo-boo. Stick your head in doo-doo. Uh, you're starting to make me angry. Well, you're starting to make me angry, son. Oh, yeah, here's the guys. Guys, come out of here. Travel with Mr. Mangione? Yeah, what the hell's the matter with you, dude? You're gonna get tossed out in the street right now. Gentlemen, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Who are you calling gentlemen? Okay, let's get him out of here. Yeah, get him out of here right now. Hey, hey what are you doing to me? We're taking you outside, dude. Out of here. Get him out of here right now. Make him go that way. I mean, that way. Out of my casino. And if I ever see him again, as a matter of fact, I want you guys to follow him. Follow him wherever he's going, because I don't trust him. I don't trust him not one bit. Now, get him out of here. Toss him out of his ear. Right there. Right there in the street, right there, that way. Yeah. Your hands off of me. You're making me angry. Tough beans. Yeah, tough. What'd you say? Never mind. Ugh. Mm. This Bruce guy might make some trouble for me. I better have guys go out and look at him. I mean, watch after him. What the hell am I talking about? Ugh. Stay out. Yeah, you come back here, you're dead. Do you hear me? You're freaking dead! <sighs> Guys are gonna pay for this. We ain't gonna pay for nothing. Come on! Come on, John. Let's go back inside. Okay, but my name ain't John, dude. I tell you that like 50 times already. Just get off my back about it. There's so many of you guys. What's that mean, you guys? No, I mean like, you know, uh, security guys. Yeah, right. I gotta do something about this. I just gotta. I need to go home and think. Do you know where you live, son? Papers! Get your papers here! Get your newspapers! Get your papers here! Get your newspapers! Who is it? It's a bee. Oh, well, come on up. Of course you are. Hey, uh, was wondering, uh, if you could have a talk? Oh, yeah, sure. Just let me turn off this TV. What's up? I heard about the incident in the casino. Yeah. Sorry to hear you lose job. I will hold up on rent for next month, huh? Nah, that's that's okay. I'll still pay you. Look, this casino is very, very bad. The man who run casino, he tried to run me out of business. He had a square deal with uh, some mafia guys and tried to get me pay protection money, but I would not do it. If you can get something on this casino guy, I will testify in a court of law that he a very bad man and doing very bad dealings. I don't know. I'm going to try, but you have to go back there. I, I, I don't think that's such a good idea at all. He kicked me out. Look, please, Bruce, I beg of you. This man, he very, very bad. He tried to run me out of business. My business is my livelihood. I owned a restaurant on 23rd and Main, and it go out of business. I need this business very, very much. I'll see what I can do. I'm going to go back there first thing in the morning. Good. And Bruce... You are a very good man. Ah, well. I try to be. 
course, there's always that big part of us, you know. Yeah. Okay, people. The cards have been dealt. And now it's time to do the deed. Hey, sir, uh, may I have a word with you? Uh, nobody on this side of the table, please. I'm very sorry. Look, I'm Jack McGee from the National Register. I don't care what price you're with. You're not supposed to be on this side of the table. Well, I have a question for you about a creature that was spotted near here. He destroyed, uh, put three men in the hospital. He's a very dangerous creature. Look, I don't know anything about any kind of green creature. But I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Very well then. Can I talk to your boss? Um, Mr. Mangione? Chuck Mangione? My boss is a very busy man, Mr. McGee. Well, I'll see about getting an appointment with him then. Yes, you do that. Now please leave. Very well. Thanks for talking to me. I didn't. Hey, gentlemen. Let's see what we can see. Who wants to hit? Who wants to stay? That's the name of the game we're playing today. Hmm. I'll get an interview with that Chuck Mangione guy if it's the last thing I do. I'm going to expose this place. Somehow. Uh, they're right there. Uh, can I help you, sir? Yes, I need to see Mr. Mangione. I do not believe Mr. Mangione wants to see you. As a matter of fact, aren't you barred from this casino? Well, yes, but no buts. Guys in here. What, what guys? Oh. Bruce. Bruce Bennis, huh? Uh, what seems to be the problem here? Get this guy out of here. Mr. Mangione's given explicit instructions to have him kicked out of the casino. But I think we got other things we can do with him. Yeah, I agree. Now, wait a minute, guys. Guys, you don't want to do this. Please get rid of him, huh? Okay, come on. Come on, Bruce. Yeah, this is your time to get out of here, Bruce. I told you, I told you, you will pay. You will pay. No, 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 no. Guys, fellas, this is a bad idea. With us, business. Stick him in the janitor's closet. I got work to do. Deal with you later. <laughs> Get a big mistake, fellas. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, fellas. I'm telling you. Ugh. Don't do this! Let's, ugh. All right. The seat to it, you don't make any trouble. We're locking the door. No! You, you're making a bad mistake! Come in the gut! Make him pay! No! Ugh. Oh! Let's go. Gentlemen, place your bets. Place your bets. Let's go now. Come on. All right, come on. No, oh, man, this is about to pay off, definitely. Where's that cocktail waitress at? You're supposed to be with me at the roulette table. Eh, hey, forget you, pal. The gentleman in blue, 21. All right, way to go. I like this new machine that's flattened on the wall. Yeah, that's where you belong. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Going for 21, 21 and done. What the hell? And it's a big gr g green monster. Run for your lives. Oh, let's get out of here. Shh. What do you want? 
have all the money. Wait, 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 no, what are you doing? Oh, crap! Oh! You turn over my table, you beast! God, put me down, I didn't mean to do whatever it is I did, I'm sorry! Ah! Security! Hey, hold it right there, you! Freeze! Uh, don't, don't move! Uh, Frank, did we get paid enough for this? Uh, I don't know, George! Oh my god! Oh, I'm out of here! Oh my god! Oh, look out! It's a great big green creature! No, 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 no! Let everyone run for your lives! Leave the casino! Oh! You knock that off! Yeah, you destroyed this place indiscriminately, man! We're gonna kick your butt! Oh my god, he's got you over his head! Ah, what's he gonna- ah, ah, ah. I'm telling you, this Mr. McGee is bad news. We gotta get him out of here. He's snooping around. He's gonna shut down the whole operation. Oh, you worry too much. You're paranoid. You know that? What the hell? Oh my god! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, get out! No, 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 no! Leave me alone! Oh, no, no, no! What are you doing? Put me down! You beast! What are you even doing? Ah! 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 Right, is everybody okay? Hey, was was that the creature? Is that the creature? Which way? The creature? What? Well, which way did he go? What's going on here? I'm sorry you will not be staying with us, Bruce. You've been the most gracious tenant, and thank you for helping save my restaurant and my building. Putting away this man is very, very good. Well, don't thank me. Thank Mr. McGee. Oh, the man who was looking for uh, the green creature guy. Yes, he may be on my heels as well. Well... Whatever you're looking for, whatever's out there, I hope you will find it. And once again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Z. Thank you. Mr. Z, who that? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, wrong guy. Well, goodbye. Yes. And good luck. Right, right. <laughs> to you also. Yes, there goes a lonely man. A very, very lonely man. And also, I want half a dozen donuts to go with that, do you understand? And get me photographs of Spider-Man! What do you guys want? You're under arrest, sir. Under arrest for what? For owning and operating an illegal casino? And also, uh, what was the other charge, Eddie? Adding and abetting a dangerous criminal 
and having criminal activities to do with this criminal. Well, that doesn't seem like very good charges. Who cares? You get over here right now. Yeah, get over here right now, sir. God dang it. I swear to God, every time I get stuff go, you guys always want to bust me for it. You gotta have a license. Gotta have this. Gotta have a liquor license. Gotta have a gambling license. Blah, blah, blah. Well, screw you guys. Put your hands behind your back and quit flaying them in a comical manner. Ugh, fine. Why did I get busted anyway? It was that nosy reporter, sir, Mr. McGee. Eddie, you ain't supposed to tell him that. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, he's a witness at your trial. God dang it, I hate this job. I'm going to come up with some other kind of different scheme or another. Huh. They never learn. Why do you continue to wish to play? You're the only one here. Yes, so. Well, do you want to hit or stay? Well, what do you think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to... Edward G. Robertson? Ah? Uh, you're under arrest. What? What for? Proceeding to cheat a casino. It's not illegal to cheat a casino. It is, however, illegal to gamble under false pretenses in a casino that doesn't even have a gambling license. So you're under arrest for that, I guess. Ugh. I should have listened to my mom when she told me to become a banker. Yeah, I guess you should have. Now get your hands behind your back. Fine. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one. Hey, uh, pal. Do you do you need a ride? Sure. All right, go ahead, Kit. Open the door for him. Um, I find it highly inadvisable, Michael, to give ride to strangers. Oh, come on, Kit. You could tell he's a nice guy. Yes, but Michael, my instincts tell me that something could go horribly wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a talking car? Oh, boy. Ugh. See what I mean? Yeah, what a weirdo. Let's go, Kit. Doo-doo-doo-doo! <laughs> Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.